Is this system broken? Uh, it is. Tough words from Boston Police Commissioner Bill Evans, who's criticizing the system that allows the more than 2,000 officers on his force to appeal their discipline to an arbitrator. I don't think anyone knows how important it is, given what's going around the country, to weed out bad apples. But records obtained by five investigates in Northeastern University School of Journalism show since 2007, arbitrators have overturned 72 percent of the discipline. This includes six officers the department tried to fire for a variety of reasons, from an officer who took off after an off-duty assault in a parking garage to an officer accused of holding a gun to someone's head who owed him money. I'm all for the officers and their rights, but they're putting officers back to work um, that could endanger the public. And uh, I'm not comfortable with that. DeRosa, criminal One of those back-to-work officers is Baltazar DeRosa, who was fired in 2010. It stems from a 2005 murder at a nightclub in Randolph, where DeRosa was accused of driving the getaway car. DeRosa was cleared in a criminal trial, but Boston police investigators still believed DeRosa knew that his cousin had shot and killed the victim before he drove his cousin home. The arbitrator disagreed in 2012, pointing to a lack of evidence, and DeRosa was reinstated. The worst part is, not only do they come back, but we have to give them a large settlement for the time they missed. But DeRosa's attorney tells us the arbitration process works, and that's why DeRosa is back on the force and doing well in his job today. It doesn't surprise me. That reaction from Michael O'Brien to the findings of our investigation showing discipline is usually overturned. Williams came from around him and just grabbed me by the collar and just swung me down to the ground. O'Brien won a $1.4 million settlement from the city after an encounter with Officer David Williams in the North End in 2009, in which O'Brien was recording video of Williams and his partner after they responded to a car accident. You know, he's got his arm around my neck and I can't breathe. You know, I can feel my uh, windpipes closing in. Boston police fired Williams in 2012, but he was reinstated the next year after an arbitrator ruled O'Brien was not a credible witness. And it wasn't Williams' first time being fired by Boston police. He was terminated for his role in the 1995 near-fatal beating of plainclothes officer Michael Cox, who was mistaken for a suspect. An arbitrator ordered Williams back to work in that case, too. A lot of times people don't change behavior, and, and that's why we make the decision to separate from the department, so it troubles me. Dave Williams is a good officer. Dave Williams did not deserve to be fired. Pat Rose is president of the Boston Police Patrolmen's Association. Do you want bad cops on the street? Not at all. Not at all. I will not support a bad police officer on the street. Rose says our numbers don't include the dozens of officers facing discipline who choose to resign or retire and says the union only takes cases to arbitration when it believes an officer has been wrongly disciplined. Any officer that got his job back going through arbitration was because the facts didn't support firing the officer to begin with. The department is appealing the latest Williams decision, so he remains off the force for now. What do you think about the idea of him being back out on the street? Terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Of the six officers who were reinstated, two eventually lost their jobs and two more are out on leave. Mike Bodette, Five Investigate.